Well, you peace activists, this is a shotgun. Would you put it up in the air, please? I don't care. Put it up in the air. I've been trying to get up in the air. Here is uh, where did Jim Davis come. Oh, here he is. Our next North Carolina State Senator, Jim Brownies. Davis. Brownies. Sure. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Darius. Uh, my pleasure. Uh, for those of you who were at the uh, Freedom Works this morning, this will be a little bit of a repeat. But uh, I told those folks this morning that I'm tired. And uh, I have a renewed appreciation for what Susan Collins did last time. And, uh, and Larry, too. By extension, Susan said that she did it in high heels. So uh, <laughs> that would be tougher. Uh, folks, this is, uh, this is an incredibly important election. I had the privilege last night of having dinner with uh, Bob Levy, who is the head of the Cato Institute. And uh, for those of you who know, Bob is a constitutional scholar. He's a brilliant man. And uh, he let me know how important elections were, how important it is for us to get out and vote for Republican candidates to stop Obamacare, to stop the encroachment, you know, the, the absolute uh, just uh, ignoring, totally ignoring our Constitution. He didn't feel as though the Supreme Court is going to overturn any of that. He thinks that there's a chance. But uh, in his view, the Supreme Court uh, defers to the legislature to do these things. And if that's the case, then we're going to be stuck with Obamacare and a lot of other things that have eroded our rights unless we put in people in the offices that uh, will uphold the Constitution. And uh, I assure you that I do that. The latest poll has me uh, down to Jon Snow, 45 to 41. Uh, then a Civitas poll has me up. Uh, one point. And so this is a tight race. We're in a, we're in a tight race. Uh, the poll that I told you about has me down 45 to 41, has Jon Snow at 88% name recognition, has me at 30%. And so the state people are just delighted that I am that close with that small of name recognition. And we are in doing our best to fix that. Probably most of you have gotten mailers that we've sent out. I think there's two more to come. Uh, starting uh, September 21 and through the election, we're going to have TV commercials on, on the ABC, NBC, and CBS, reaction. and cable as well. So you'll be watching for that. And uh, we are, I have the full support of the state party. They want to win this race, plus at least five more, which will give them control of the Senate. Uh, that will push the Democrats aside in the North Carolina Senate. They've had it since 1898, and I think it's time for a change. So anyway, I appreciate your coming out. I appreciate your support. I've got uh, signs with me in the back of my truck. If anybody wants a yard sign, you see me before you go. And uh, I have some uh, bumper stickers right here. You can put them on your bumper or put them on your window, whatever you prefer. But I need, uh, I need this whole 50th district to be... Uh, inundated with bumper stickers so that uh, that's going to boost my name recognition. Again, thanks for being here and uh, don't forget to vote. <laughs> and thank you for running, Jim. By the way, on the 28th of September, I'm not sure we...